recipe is gonna be a very popular Mexican sweet bread. It's gonna be conchas. Now this bread does take two separate ingredients. You're gonna be making your buns and you're gonna be making the paste that will go on top of this. These conchas are best enjoyed with some coffee, some hot chocolate, or any beverage like that. As always, the ingredients will be in the description box down below. If this is the first recipe you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the videos I post. Now let's get started on this. Everything you're gonna need will be in the description box below. Start by combining your water and yeast. Add your milk into this. Your sugar, mix well. Add your salt, one egg, mix that well. And then you're gonna incorporate your butter in here. I soften it a bit and just mix it in and then add your flour. I started with two cups of flour and then mix that with a spatula. And then add the rest of your flour, mix that well together until it starts to combine. Once it's come together and it holds its shape, we're gonna let it sit and proof. Just put it in a greased bowl covered with plastic wrap, or like me, I like to put it in that Cambro because it seals well. And then we're gonna sit for an hour and a half or till it doubles, and then in the meantime, we're gonna make our paste. Combine your sugar and shortening together. And then add in your flour. And you're gonna mix this until it comes together. Add in your vanilla extract and almond extract as well and keep mixing this until it all comes together. And then if you wanna dye this any color, divide it up now. And I did green, pink, blue, and yellow and then just wrap that up in plastic wrap and set it aside until our dough is ready. So once it has risen, just pour it out of your container or bowl and then divide it up into whatever size you'd like. I made mine a little larger than usual. You can make them smaller or about the same size as me. So then just roll these out and then we're gonna let them sit aside for a moment. And once they're on a sheet pan, we're gonna let them sit for 40 minutes to rise. And in the meantime, let's roll out that paste that we're gonna put on top of each one of these. I used a concha tool. I actually got this from Mexico, but you can use a cookie cutter and create your own designs or anything else you have. These colors are a little more towards the Easter theme. I wanted to do bright colors since Easter is coming up. You can do any color or you can leave them without color. And then I use an offset spatula to take that paste and put it on my bread. So here I'm just letting it sit for a bit and then we're going to bake it after 40 minutes. Bake it at 375 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes and it will depend on your oven. You wanna bake them until they are golden brown. And here is how the final concha looks. This is the solid pink one. And then I did a multicolor one combining the pink and blue paste I had left. And that's how easy it is to make conchas. I did my colors a little bit more of the spring colors since spring is coming up, as you can see behind me. These are really delicious bread and they're not overly sweet. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see pictures, I will be posting all over on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Facebook. If you make any of my recipes, tag me. I love seeing what you guys do. If you wanna suggest something else, leave it in the comment down below. And until next time, stay sweet.